Hey everyone, Christian back here with another um, palm review, let's call it that. So I'm going to do a little side-by-side -side comparison here. These are both uh, in the Dipsis species. They're actually both in the subfamily of Chrysidylocarpus, which is no longer valid, but it was once the name given to these clumping Dipsis types from uh, that are... They're, almost all of them are from Madagascar. There's only one species of palm that is not, one species, I'm sorry, of Dipsis that is not from Madagascar. And this is actually this one right here. This is Dipsis pembana or the, the Pemba palm. It's from Pemba Island, which is right off the coast of Tanzania. It's, it's right across the water from Madagascar, but it's not part of Madagascar's mainland. So it's considered, you know, the only species not native to uh, the, 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 the great island of Madagascar. So to my right is Dipsis lanceolata, commonly known as the Ivovovo palm, which is a uh, native name given to it. And if you look at these plants, the bases on them have a similarity. They have a little white powderiness to the, to the Pembana has a white powdery trunk to it. Um, the lanceolata also has that white powdery uh, crown and part of the trunk. Now. Where these plants differ is Pembana is going to be a little bit beefier and it's going to have a wider leaflet that's hanging slightly uh, arching and comes down to a pendant look uh, when it's in more shade and arching and a little more sun. And the lanceolata has this, it has lanceolate leaves. If you were to open this up like this, it kind of comes out and fattens and it comes down to a little drip tip thing. Um, and it they recurve and it, it's a very ornate plant. Now. Both of these, uh, you know, they look great in the landscape, but they have different cultivation requirements. Pembana is actually relatively fast growing here. In fact, um, this palm is probably not as old as uh, the lanceolata to my right. And it also can take full sun, and it seems to be more tolerant of cold. These, seems, these seem to have no problem going into the 20s and have, are starting to become a nice landscape uh, plant for uh, Central and South Florida. And they're, they're great just for hedging if you want to plant them in, in many, uh, you know, in clumps. And that's what I actually do at my nursery. I plant, um, I plant these five into a pot. Uh, this is one plant here. Usually you get one main trunk with two side trunks. It's pretty typical. And with lanceolata, you're going to get usually like a, like a twin palm where one's going to be a little bigger than the other. One trunk is going to be larger than the other. And it arches up. Nicely, you can see they both have that arching about them. So th they are cousins in a way. They don't grow n near each other, but they do have this. They do come from the same kind of subfamily of Dipsis. There are many. There are hundreds of species of Dipsis, and they're, and they're constantly new ones have been found. Uh, I would say probably a hundred species in the past decade, and uh, they're they're beautiful. They're many of them are ornate. They're unique in that almost all of them are from Madagascar. And Madag uh, Madagascar pa palms have kind of uh, evolved differently because of the, they are on an island, so they don't interact with uh, you know mainland plants for you know thousands, tens of thousands of years. So uh, both of these are great landscape plants. You know they're also somewhat of a collector, um, uh, somewhat somewhat of a, of a collector plant as well because you don't find them normally in uh, your, your big box store or even at your local nursery. But it's, you know, they, they, they both, uh, they're not expensive to get. You know, they're, you're gonna be, they're gonna be similarly priced to a retail plant at a, a big box store. And both of the seeds of these plants are gonna be small, red, and oval-shaped, elliptical. And they are going to throw out thousands of seeds on each rack. So you can get them fresh. You don't even have to clean the seed. You can just throw them right in a pot that drains well and they will come up like grass. So they're, they're not hard to germinate. They're not hard to grow. You need to give lanceolata a little more shade than you would say give pembana. And uh, yeah, they're, they're beautiful plants. Uh, you might see them more in the landscape in the near future and I hope so too because they, they are great. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and um, leave a comment down below if you have any more questions about these plants. And if you enjoy watching these palm videos, uh, go ahead and subscribe and uh, these will be coming out quite a bit. So anyways, have a nice day.